Hello, magpap mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. Kumusta po kayo ngayong umaga ito? Excited na ba kayo sa ating Devo? Sa so bago po tayo magsimula, tayo po ay manalangin. Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat, pinupuri at sinasamba ka namin. Patawarin niyo po kami sa nagawa naming di kaaya-aya sa iyong mata. Salamat po sa biyaya at kapatawaran mo. Salamat sa mga di mabilang na biyaya mo sa amin. Gawin mo pong fruitful ang araw na ito at magbigay walhati sa, sa iyong pangalan. Santong Espiritu, mangusap ka sa bawat isa at malaman namin ang aming purpose ng aming buhay. Maghari ka po sa amin magpakailanman. Amen. Noong nilikha ng Diyos ang mga hayo, nilikha sila sa kanilang eksperto. May mga tumatalon, dumilipad, may mga lumalangoy. So each of them has a particular uh, has a particular to play. So tayo, kaya anong ang role natin sa mundong ito? Ano ang expertise natin? So ngayong umaga, malalaman po natin sa nasa day 30 po na tayo sa 40 day purpose driven life journey natin. So day 30, shape for serving God. Malapit-lapit na pong matapos ang ating 40 day journey ng purpose driven life. Sana po sa pagtatapos ng ating journey ay natumbok na natin ang purpose kung bakit tayo nag -e exist sa mundong ito. So, let's start. Basahin natin ang Job 10.8 sa NIV version, sa New International Version. Your hands, sabi niya dito, your hands shaped me and made me. Ito po ay sinabi ni Job nung during the time na siya po ay nagdumanas ng pagsubok sa kanyang buhay. O testing. So, the Lord shaped and made us for what? to serve Him. Yan po yung bakit po tayo uh, sinate ni Lord o ni, ginawa ng ating Panginoon for His glory to serve Him. So, ang mga architects daw, bago, bago sila mag-design ng bahay or ng building, tinatanong muna nila kung ano ang purpose ng building na yon, Kung paano gamitin para yung form na 
ko. Build, para yung form ng building intended talaga sa function niya o sa purpose na gagawin. So, ganun din si Lord. Bago po tayo ginawa, bago niya minold o um, ginawa, He decided what role He wanted us to play on earth. At plinano niya talaga exactly how He wanted us to serve Him. So, we are one of a kind. Hindi, wala pong pare-parehas na tao na the same ang uh, magkaparehas. Kahit nga yung mga twins, meron pa silang uh, magkaiba pa rin sila. So, kasi we are the original masterpiece. Tayo po ay masterpiece ni Lord at we are, kaya nga mayroon tayong mga individual differences. So, as David praised God, he said this, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. Ito po ay sinabi ni David. Haring David. So God never want waste anything. Ayaw niya pong masayang ang lahat. So God use all of it. Mold you for the ministry to others and shape you for your service to Him. So, parehas din tong shape na to. It's, um, yung binigyan niya sa atin is to minister to others and to serve God. So, how God shapes you for your ministry? Paano ba, ni Lord, paano ba si Lord shape tayo sa ating ministry? So, tandaan po natin, mayroon po tayong uh, assignment para tayo nga as soldiers of God. Mayroon po tayong kanya-kanyang assignment na kailangan nating tapusin bago dumating ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. At binigyan tayo ni Lord para matapos natin itong assignment na binigay ni Lord sa atin. Binigyan tayo ng mga abilities, interests, talents, personalities, mga experiences para ating matapos ang assignment na to with excellence. So, tignan natin sa ano ba yung shape, yung acronym ng shape. Yung S stands for spiritual gift. Yung H stands for heart. Yung A stands for abilities. Yung P stands for personality. And E stands for experience. So ngayong umaga, dalawa po ang ating tatalakayin. Ang spiritual gifts at yung heart. Yung SH muna. So number one. Yung HS, so unwrapping your spiritual gift. So tayo po ay magbubukas na, ready na ba tayong buksan ang ating mga spiritual gifts? So bago tayo magbukas ng mga spiritual gifts, let's see what is this. So lahat po ng believer ay nabigyan ng, lahat po ng mga believer, ang yung mga tumanggap sa Panginoon ay nabigyan ng spiritual gift. These are God-empowered abilities. Wala pong hindi nabigyan. So, baka meron lang dyan na gift mo na hindi mo binuksan. So, ano ba ang gamit ng spiritual gifts na to? So, it is the benefit. Gagamitin po natin ito for the benefit of others. So, spiritual gift is given to each of us as means of helping the entire church or the believers, our brothers and sisters. So, have you discovered your spiritual gift? Sabi nga nila, an open gift is worthless. So, itong mga spiritual gifts na to, ito po ay gagamitin natin para matulungan natin ang congregation, ang ating church, ang bawat isa na lumaki sa sa kanilang pananampalataya. So, mang encourage ng bawat isa sa atin. Mang lift up. So, ano ba tong mga spiritual gifts na to? Uh, nakita ko po sa, tingnan natin kung meron po kayo nito o kaya bubuksan po na ninyo. 
So, sa Romans 12, ang mga spiritual gifts na to na nabanggit is mga in encouragement, giving, mga generous people, leadership, mercy, mga uh, comfort, mga magaling sila sa comforting, so, prophecy, service. Ano ba tong service na to? Any service sa paglilinis, sa pag uh, any service kung punta ka nga sa restaurant, may mga services mga doon o any kind of services that uh, helps one another so teaching yung mga teachers teaching ako na yun sa ako doon so administration uh, discernment healing uh, yung mga um, may mga gift for healing so mga interpretation of languages wisdom apostle Faith. Ito yung mga, at yung mga helps, mga tumutulong. At sa Ephesians 4 naman, binanggit sa, mga pas, sa pastor, pagiging pastor at evangelism. At saka organizing, spiritual gift pa rin pala yung organizing, yung pioneering, problem solving, speaking, supporting, and many more. So yun po, kung, uh, kung ikaw po ay isang mananampalataya kay Heso Kristo at hindi mo pa binuksan ang gift na binigay ni Lord sa'yo nako, buksan nyo na po at gamitin na po para sa kakaluwalhati ng ating Diyos mawawala po yan pag hindi po natin gagamitin so let's start unwrapping our spiritual gift so say uh, ito po ay nag itong mga spiritual gift natin ay magagamit natin sa mga ministry O kaya sa discipleship making, training, para sa ikakabuti ng lahat ng mananampalataya. So number two, listening to your heart. Ito ba? Sa Bible, ang heart ay hinango sa, word, sa the bundle of desires. Hopes, interests, ambitions, dreams, and affection you have. So your heart reveals the real you. Sabi nga nila pa ulit, ulit the heart reveals the real you. Kung ano yung nasa puso mo, ikaw yun. Kung ano yung nasa puso mo, yun ang lumalabas sa bunganga mo. So yun, what is in our hearts? So God gave us a unique emotional heartbeat. Heart or your passion. Ano ba yung passion mo? Ano ba yung gusto-gusto mong gawin? So tignan natin dito. Paulit-ulit na pong sinabi ang sa Biblia that we serve the Lord with all our heart. So, kung pagsabing paulit-ulit, ito po ay sir, um, binibigyang emphasis, talaga pinaka-importante na gawin natin to At seryoso ang Panginoon pag paulit-ulit na itong sinabi na we have to serve the Lord with all our heart. So, what is in our heart? So, how do we know that we are serving God from our heart? How do we know? A, okay, let's see. We have the enthusiasm. Ano ba yung enthusiasm? Yung interest mo, yung gustong gusto mong ginagawa. Uh, may energetic ka dun. So, doing what you love to do. So, may enthusiasm ka dun. Pag you love what you're doing, then you are enthusiastic to it. So, next is effectiveness. So, when doing what you love to do, and, or God wired you to do, God wants you to do, you are good at it. Effectiveness yun, yung uh, you're doing what you love to do, and then you are good at it, my improvement, my development, my growth, then you are, uh, there, is a, there is effectiveness. Okay. So, mm, magkanta muna ako ng kante. So, I have a student said, I want to become rich. Okay, one of my student students said, said, I want to become rich. That's why I will take engineering or nursing. So, I will go abroad and make money. And then I smiled and said to him, If that's God's will, he will 
do it for you. But pero mali po yun. This is a big mistake. Okay, don't waste your life in a job that doesn't express your heart. So there is far more important than money. Sabi nga ng richest man in the world, a simple life in the fear of God is better than a rich life with a ton of heart headaches. Ulitin ko po. A simple life is the fear of God is better than a rich life with a ton of headaches. Totoo nga naman. So, aim for a better life that God gave you a heart to do and then do it for His glory. So, yun po ang pagtatapos. Natapos na po natin ang day 30. Shape, shape for serving God. So, natapos po natin ang isa which is the spiritual gifts. Unwrapping your spiritual gifts. So, listening to your heart. So, don't miss the others po. It, it, uh, to be continued. So, let, let's, um, let's use this for, let's unwrap our gifts and let, let's use this for our ministry in serving the Lord for His glory. So, we have the point to ponder. I was shaped for serving God. We have the verse to remember. Job 10.8 Your hand shaped me and made me. So now we have a question to answer. You may may you may comment your answer below or on the comment section. So in what way can I see myself passionately serving others and loving it? So yun po ang day 30 natin that we are shaped for serving God. Okay, let us pray. Thank you Lord for your message that you made us for your glory. You have given us gifts to use in ministering to others as we serve you. Those who have not yet unwrapped their spiritual gifts, help them, O oh God, that they will discover it and use it to serve you. So we love you, Lord. You reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.